What's up, y'all? Got a banger from More to Life. Let's get straight into it. Y'all, women being drafted to the military is trending right now. Okay. What? How? Sergeant Look. Murphy, just get back to your post. <laughs> need to hear all that. It's going to be a wake-up call. Okay, you hear me? I don't okay. have time for makeup. Okay. I don't have time to do my hair. This is this is the regular look, okay? Okay. This is the regular look here. All right. Okay, this is what you get because I don't have time. My day starts at 04 in the morning all the way through my lunch break. Sometimes I get out of the office. Sometimes I don't. All the way to 1700. That's 5 p.m. for you folks that uh, don't know the 24-hour time. Look, it ain't no joke. It's going to be a wake-up call. We just got approved to do our nails, right? New colors now, new colors. New colors are natural to the skin, whatever the regulation does. Anyway, we just got that. I love when a woman gets to the point of the story. <laughs> it's always my favorite. I barely got time for that. I might have time for an iced coffee every now and then. Maybe. <laughs> Women complaining about not having a time, not having time for a relationship. That sounds like a you problem. I mean, it really does. Like, ladies, if it was something that was important to you, you would make time for it, right? So I guess it's not that important if you don't make time for it. I guess it makes sense, yeah? I don't want to cheat in Atlanta because there's a lack of men. And I don't care what nobody tell me. Mm. There is not enough men on this planet for all the women. That's true. So and when you narrow it down to being in Atlanta... Let me, I say Atlanta because, you know, I say all the syllables. But when, we, when I'm at home, it's Atlanta. Um, I've heard that Atlanta has a ton of women and not a lot of men. So I think there's a lot of validity to this. Uh, but when you narrow it, when you were talking about an ecosystem like Atlanta, it is a portion of them are gay. Yep. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's do this. We got to go to the ratio. So first yep. of all, a portion of them are in jail. That's what, all right. There are good men in jail. That's one. Then you're gay. That's two. Then you're bi. That's three. And then you're down low. Ooh, okay. So that's the buy and down low are two different people. Right. Then you have poly. No, I don't know what that is. Poly, poly lifestyle. You want multiple women and you want, and, and everybody in this situation. Oh, uh, poly, oh polyamorous. So I posted. Bro, she's talking a whole lot of nothing. Videos recently talking about modern women and what their standards are and what modern women are looking for. And I've gotten a lot of comments from men saying that they are not looking for a modern woman. We ain't. They want a traditional woman. Facts. And that there aren't enough of them out there. Facts. So that had me thinking, like, well, what is the difference between a modern woman and a traditional woman? Let I me know, chat. What do you guys think? What's the difference between a modern woman and a traditional woman is? Modern woman is a woman that is self-centered, egocentric, not fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, not quaint. She's not uplifting. She's not elegant. She's not empathetic. She's not natural. She's fake. She has a high body count. She's been with a lot of men. She's had a lot of trauma. That to me is not traditional. Traditional would be a woman that was raised to be a wife or was raised to be a mother. And a lot of these girls aren't even raised up to be a girlfriend. They're raised up to be a situationship at best. <laughs> a buck fuddy, as we would call it in the streets. I wrote some notes here to distinguish the difference. A modern woman is someone who's independent. She has a full-time career. There you go. She prioritizes career and education over family and children. Yep. She is strong and wants to be taken seriously. Ooh, the whole strong thing, honey, you're just an adult. You're just doing the adulting. That's all it is. You're not strong. Let me know. Let me know, does paying your own bills, is that strong? If so, I'm the freaking Hulk. <laughs> if paying your bills is strong, then I guess, you know, I'm Thor. And you'll probably hear her say things like, I don't need no man to support me and never depend on a man. That's about right. That's about That's about right. A traditional woman is someone who focuses on family and children. Mm -hmm. She cooks and she cleans. Yep. I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan and Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. 
And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. She knows how to take care of her man mentally, emotionally, and physically. There we She's go. graceful and nurturing there we go. and, I'm going to say it, submissive. Yes. So, for all the modern women out there, I hear all the time that they want a traditional man. But it's sounding to me like traditional men don't actually want modern women. Facts. And I can't tell you how many times I hear women say they don't cook, they don't clean, but yet they want a man to pay all their bills. So I'm just curious, women, do you consider yourself modern or traditional? And what kind of man are you actually looking for? And for men, what are the qualities that you're looking for in a woman if it's not a modern woman? Bro, ain't nobody looking for these modern women. Ain't nobody looking for them. Shots fired! Shots fired! Y'all keep all that modernness with y'all. I don't want it. Let me know, let me know, chat. Would you rather have a modern woman or a traditional woman? I almost bet we see traditional woman coming out in droves. And the thing is, is a lot of you ladies are like, Well, I wasn't taught how to cook. My mommy didn't teach me how to be a housewife. Meh, meh, meh. Well, nobody taught you how to suck a pee-pee, but you sure did go and figure it out. Nobody taught you how to ride one. Nobody, nobody taught you how to dress provocatively, but you sure did figure it out. So that what you're telling me is the things that are a priority in your life, like being promiscuous, dressing provocatively, and doing things in the sheets that are, uh, you know, not taught at home. Those were important to you. That's why you went and learned how to do them. The things that were important to you, you learned. It wasn't important for you to go learn how to cook and clean and be a wife. That wasn't important to you. <laughs> That's why you learned what you learned. Come on now. <laughs> Hello there, soul family. This is me, Tisha, whatever you want to call me. You see the TikTok name. I'm here to inspire and also share some knowledge because I feel like we all need it. So I've been constantly. Here's here. the thing I don't even like, I don't like them even being called modern men because I feel like modern men are traditional. And over my um, social media feeds this constant conversation about black men and women and how black women say that black men hate us and then i've been seeing the whole passport bro situation and different black men you know praising other black men for dating out of their race and i mean personally i'm in an interracial relationship but race wasn't a big factor for me when i got in a relationship compatibility was Really what made me want to make this video is to talk about how we need to break through this matrix through understanding the, the, the social constructs that we created and how to think beyond the box or beyond Saturn, the karmic lessons that we have been learning these last few um, years. Since 2023 is a year of spiritual awakening because it's a year oh, seven. Jesus, get to the point, honey. As women... We give birth to men and women, okay? If we're creating something and the creation becomes out of hand, then it really does take internal work in order to understand how is this happening. Because we can't continue to blame others. Well, that's the modern women motto, right? Well, that's the thing. You know, life is a mirror, not a window. Um, everything that's happening in your fault or everything that's happening in your life and more than likely is, you know, due to something that you did. Or I always say, it's your fault. This way you don't play the victim about things that you can't change. Because um, you can change a lot of things. This is why most men do not want a relationship anymore. Because the majority of modern women is for the streets. Y'all out here getting ran through and you're posting about it. She's a runner, she's a track star. My man might be onto something, let him cook. On social media, you're racking up your body count. You made an OF account, now you're selling your body online. Then when you're tired of getting ran through, now you say, where are all the good men at? They've seen where you've been because you post about it. They don't want you's good. And see, reason number two is that when we treat women the way that y'all say you want to be treated, you leave us, you mm -hmm. play us. Why? Mm -hmm. If y'all keep saying treat y'all like royalty and we do that and then we keep getting played, obviously, y'all is lying. This is why most men do not want a relationship anymore. Because the majority of modern women is for the street. I just woke up from a nap and this is what I see. Can I have no peace? This guy just made an entire video explaining how modern women have too much autonomy over their own bodies for his liking. Oh, he I said love they it. have I love too how they call it the autonomy. Too much autonomy. Selling my butthole online for 4.99 is empowering. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make 
this stuff up. It's like there's a meme where it's like a modern woman telling another woman like, yeah, girl, sell your body online. She's like, yeah, girl power. And then it's a, it's a guy telling a girl, hey, sell your body online. And they're like, you're a misogynist. It's like, wait, but the message is the same. Just one's coming from a girl and one coming from a guy. What are you talking about? Too much smacks. Um, there's only fans now so women can profit off of their own bodies instead of being creeped on by men for free. Essentially what he's saying is women have too much control over themselves these days and I don't like it. And in the comments you see people saying, well, if you want to date men, just say that, teehee. And like, I get it. It's a joke, haha. But like, men have been socialized and conditioned to have as much schmecks as possible. Otherwise, they're shamed by other men for not having enough schmecks. In this video, he referred to women who have a lot of schmecks and, you know, have control over their bodies as used goods. So yeah. by his logic, men would be used goods as well. So mm -mm. just stay single then. What he said. No, 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 no. Doesn't work like that, honey. It doesn't work like that. So it goes back to the, um, the key in the master lock situation. So if I have a key that opens up a ton of different locks, it's a master key. If there's a lock that's opened up by a bunch of keys, it's because it's a shitty lock. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but ladies, if you can't realize that it's much harder for men to procure schmacks, as you would say, schmacks, tech, tech, schmacks, as uh, it is for women, like it is so much harder for men. Men can't just walk to a bar and go get some kooka. It doesn't work like that. But a girl could go to a bar and get some pee pee like that. It would not be hard. The standards are different. Ladies, this is why. It's so much easier for you. This is why we don't give you a pass for it. Also, ladies, you're born with your value, and us as men, we have to go earn our value. We don't feel bad for you. Not at all. Not one bit. Just saw this video where this girl was talking about how men genuinely don't like women, and I 100% get that, and I used to not think this way. Like, Based. I used to just think of people, like, on an even playing field. I thought that men had the same, like feelings towards us that we had towards them and like relationships were reciprocal and they wanted the same things as us. And I've been in two long-term relationships and they were both very abusive and I just thought that I picked wrong. Like I just thought I picked the bad apples. Like they're, the general population was good and I just got the two bad ones. Um, and now I have someone who genuinely is good. Like, I, and I think that has a lot to do with, he's from California, he's very progressive, pro-women, like feminist, whatever. And oh, no. Stupid. God, no. <laughs> I hope he's letting her pay all the bills. <laughs> I'm such a feminist, honey, I want you paying all the bills. I want them all in your name. And whenever I describe the situations with my exes, he's like, it sounds like they didn't even like you. Like, I they sound like they straight up hated you and i'm like a lot of good girls can't find I a man i love it dude he's so progressive he's so uh, new age i'm sorry bro let me know how many feminists we got in the chat <laughs> how many fe how many how many feminists do we got out there <laughs> good lord and because men do not like good girls. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm going to explain to you why, but men do not like good girls. So for the purpose of this video, when I say good girl, I'm referring to a girl who just stays out of the mix, minds her business, goes to work, goes to school, doesn't really post too much on Instagram or TikTok, doesn't really want attention from strangers, isn't promiscuous, doesn't I'm going to really keep it a buck. That's exactly what we want. I want a good girl. Cass is exactly like that. She doesn't post on social media. She hasn't posted in years. Ever since she's been in a relationship with me, she doesn't go out. She stays at home. She, watch, she watches anime, reads books, and plays like casino games on her phone. Bro, I, I pulled a dub. A massive dub. Like, what are you talking about? We love good girls. Show off her body and so on and so forth, right? And you would think that that is what a man would want. That's but what the reality want. of the situation is that's the opposite of what most of them want. What Wait a minute. This has got to be coming from a single woman because there is no way this lady is sitting here flapping her gums trying to tell us what men want when we're sitting here saying what we want. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I don't want a woman that shows her body off online. Let me know in the chat. Like, is that what you guys want? You want your girls posting promiscuous photos? I don't want that. Why don't they like good girls? Here's a little bit of context. These days, men are not saying they want a good bitch, right? They say they want a bad bitch. And they use the word bad. Just for the sheets, though. To explain a woman who is hot or sexy or promiscuous because it refers to the things that she's going to do in bed, which are naughty, which are bad, 
right? So that's one of the reasons why they don't like good girls is because they think that when you are bad, you are going to be better in bed. Lost. Second is most men these days are not on the hunt for a woman who's going to be a good mother to their children. Most men these days are quick to knock up any woman and let her have his kids without stopping to think, is she going to be a good mother? So that's one of the other reasons why they're not on the hunt for good women. Third is most good girls are predictable. That's why they're good. They're predictable. They follow society's expectations of what a good girl should be. They follow their parents' expectations of what a good woman should be. And that doesn't excite men. That's a who said. We know that- I do agree with her on the point where guys will go pork anything and get a girl pregnant. That is on us. We also need to end the simp epidemic. Men need to stop simping, but also men stop dick- oh, stop, stop dicking down these girls that are, that are batshit crazy. Please stop it. What, what is it, um, what is the, the Cat Williams thing where he's like, you went and had a baby with banana cream pie. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't go have a baby with banana cream pie. Please watch your, please watch what you're sticking your pee pee in, dude. Men like pain. We know that men like toxic women. We know that men like problems in their relationships. That's what keeps them in it. Mm. That's what keeps them excited. I don't like that. They're sick. They're mentally twisted. No, that's but what this women like. This is reality. This is the reality of the situation. That is why the good girls get treated the worst. Because they're not exciting. They're bland. They're predictable. Fourth is that most bad girls are selfish. And selfishness actually makes men work harder to be in a relationship with you. Because most good girls are people pleasers. Most good girls are satisfied with the bare minimum. Because they're good, right? They don't want to ask for too much because that's bad, right? These are all things that society made up for us to follow. But when you categorize yourself as a good girl, what you're telling the man is, I will go above and beyond to please you. You don't have to go above and beyond to please me because I'm satisfied with the bare minimum. That's not what they want. And that's why the bad girls, the toxic girls, the ones who ask for too much, constantly get provided for, constantly get what they want because men like that. But y'all are all alone. Shots fired! Shots fired! What are you talking about? Men like that. Y'all are not getting married in droves. Most of y'all have no man. Maybe you have a guy that'll simp on you and pay your bills, but you don't have a husband. You don't even have a boyfriend. You don't have a fiance. You don't have none of that. They like having to. What do you talk about? They always like to reach a little bit higher. No, women are hypergamous. Women need to reach a little bit higher. Let me know, chat. Let me know in the comments. Do you think a woman should like a man more or do you think a man should like a woman more? I think your girl should like you way more than you like her because women are hypergamous. They need to feel like they struck gold with you. And if they don't, they're probably going to leave. This girl is so off, and she's probably alone. She probably is a single woman. Single women keep women single, and misery loves company. Always remember that. Always reach a little higher. They like having to always do a little more. That's what excites them and keeps them in the relationship. Unless <laughs> God, this is the worst advice. <laughs> it's just like it's a complete opposite day. She must be trolling. See, most good girls are waiting to be picked, and most bad girls don't want to be picked. And that's why the men always go for the women that they know are out of their league because they're like, if I can just get her, if I can just convince her to look at me, if I can just get a minute of her attention. Whereas with the good girl, it's not that much of a reward because the good girl is expecting to be picked. She is waiting to pour her love into someone else. Now, the point of this TikTok is not to make good girls feel like they have to start being bad girls but if i have one piece of advice for good girls who want to find a man it's to pretend to be a bad girl <laughs> Dude, kevin samuels because to be honest they're not smart enough to tell the difference so all you got to do is just pretend that you are a b-i-t-c-h okay and you got to make them work a little harder for your attention even though deep down inside you want to pour your love into them you want to give them affection Stupid. you want to praise them you want to please them Stupid. that's fine those are not bad things you just Stupid. can't do it right off the bat because they want to hunt they want to pursue they want to be challenged you got to play the game. you got to play. Let me know, chat. Do you guys want to hunt? Do you guys want to be challenged when it comes to finding a woman? No. I want a woman that I can find and have harmony with. That's going to be my piece and not a piece of the problem. This woman was giving some of the worst advice I think I've ever seen another woman give another woman. But the thing is, she's giving this information. It looks like she has no man because if she had a man, she probably would not be on TikTok right now crying about this. Misery loves company, and these women want to make sure that no other woman can be happy. This next chick looks like a thumb. Shots fired! Shots fired! Let's get into it. The most eye-opening thing I ever learned about men was from my college human sexuality class, where the professor told us that men don't actually like women. Not all men. Sure, but hang in. He said that the way that our society socializes boys to, quote, become men, is not to tell them how to be men. It's just to teach them how to not be women. 
Don't cry. Be a man. Don't be a pussy. Being a man is entirely defined by not being like a woman. <laughs> this is new. Be a man. Don't be weak. Be a man. Don't be sensitive. Be a man. Don't like those things. Those are girl things. And the tool we use to do the, that kind of socializing, to steer them away from feminine things, is shame. While the kids are running around in the back. <laughs> Ah, you can't make this stuff up. And you just can't go your whole life being told that the worst thing you could do is be like a woman and expect to actually like women at the end of that. But they are also taught that their sexual attractiveness to women and their ability to get women is a status symbol in front of other men. So they will sexually pursue women, but they don't actually like them as people. This is how patriarchal masculinity socializes men and why shame, violence, and disgust are so intricately linked. All right. Bro, this is why college is a scam. This woman said she learned this at a, like, this is crazy to me. Do you agree with her? I completely disagree. Please, let's talk about why men do not court anymore. Let's go. The reality is that modern feminism in a lot of ways had us as women take a gamble and we lost. We took the bait that being sexually promiscuous and having no standards and no self-respect was cool and in. We decided that we would give men access to our bodies and our time and our energy without them having to put in any effort. We have Based. allowed men to do the bare minimum for so long and we still give them benefits that they don't deserve. And so now men are following suit and we are confused as to why this is happening. It's okay to want a man to lead and support you, but you have to understand that we collectively as women set the tone. So if the tone of the dating market is that all women are easy now and that men can pretty much get whatever they want and do whatever they want, and still get access to us, then that's what the majority of men are going to do. There are plenty of men who are good men, men who love women and respect women and honor women. But even those men, if they are single and there are women out there that are throwing it at them, they're going to catch it. So just ask yourself, what kind of woman are you? And are you contributing to the problem? Are you the kind of woman who is allowing men to be low vibrational and contributing to this idea that all women have low standards and that men can do the bare minimum and get away with it? Or are you a woman who's leading by example and challenging other women around you to do the same by operating from a place Bro, of... Well, ladies, we already know that y'all change your environment to fit your mindset. You don't change your mindset to fit your environment. Like, come on, man. Like, we already know this. Let's, let's see. It's strong boundaries. A woman who knows her worth. Before we start whining and complaining about what they aren't doing, let's take a look at what it is that we are doing. Hey, Finally. Shout out. She, at least she has some accountability. You know the thing about it is, good women today are dressing, looking, and sounding just like the 304. So that's a problem with us good men. Well, I mean, he's got a point. It's this music behind it, so I don't want to get copyrighted. Um, let's keep it pushed. But no, I agree with him. The thing, and the thing is, ladies, it's the amoeba effect, right? You you are the most alike the people you spend the most time with. And this the same thing for men. Like, if you spend time with bums, you're more than likely a bum. You're only successful with the top five people you spend the most time with. So if you're going to spend your time with people that ain't got nothing going on in their life, and, and then you look around, and you're like, why ain't I got nothing going on in my life? It's because you spend time with people that ain't got nothing going on. You want to be successful? You got to hang out with successful people. You got to have a mentor. You got to learn from people, dude. Okay, so this is the thing that I always am just like. Modern U.S. women are not trash. You are not being authentic in your approach. Like, modern U.S. women are ninety percent trash. Stay single, kings. Right? Like, <laughs> you can think that and you can feel that way if you want it to be your worldview. That is fine. But what it sounds a lot like is that you have a lot of unprocessed trauma. I love it. Flipping the script and the gaslighting. It's always a sign. Shame, insult, guilt, and the need to be right. People don't like when I say this about men. Here's the thing about this kind of response. It is a trauma response because when you have been hurt, especially as a man, oh. your automatic reaction is, I never want to be hurt again. I'm going to stay single, right? Now, <laughs> men in my comments get so upset and then they try to tell me, oh, I'm not hurt. I have no emotion. And it's like, you're so delusional and so unaware about your own self that you're trying to like project on me. This is a hurt. Good Lord. So here's the thing. 
As men, we are emotional. We just don't have to control it a lot better than you ladies. Shots fired! Shots fired! And if a guy goes out in the market, and I would believe close to this statistic, 90%, if a man goes out in the market and he approaches 10 women and nine of them spray fart in his face, <laughs> figuratively, not literally, hypothetically, um, then yeah, I think it's very right to have this hypothesis that nine, most of the women are trash. Because here's the thing, 90% of the women go for 10% of the men. 10% of the men are responsible for 90% of the trauma amongst the dating market. So with that being the case, I think that's that stat's pretty correct. It's because the trash that he's talking about, the 90% are just women that never give the regular normal guy a chance. A lot of blue collar workers, truck drivers, truck drivers, guys that work in the any type of field that is outside, whether it's you know welding or concrete or bricklaying or construction, something like that. Most of the women would just next this guy, or even a guy that has a trade, a plumber, an electrician, a roofer. They'd be like, eh, I want the fast life. I want a guy that does big things, million dollars a year. But you're not. You're discount rack Kmart quality. What are you talking about? Let's get back into this. Comment. Stay single, kings. You, you, you don't understand what it is to be a king. I wonder why they left. If you're a king, you're not staying single. You don't understand what it is to be a king. Because a real king protects, provides, and takes care of a lot of things, honestly. But mostly his family to start. So I understand that a lot of dudes get really upset with me. And then they try to say, I'm blaming. Listen, I'm not blaming men. I'm not blaming women. I'm blaming the progressive societal in inference over the last, you know, 100, 200 Stupid. years. I'm not blaming. If it's not men's fault, and if it's not women's fault, and it's a societal problem, who's in society? Shots fired! Shots fired! Are you dumb? Stupid. Society's made up of men and women, so it's got to be somebody's fault. A societal problem? What, what are you talking about? I'm not saying, oh, everything that's wrong in this world is men's fault. That's what we call blame. And that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous to say. I wouldn't make an argument like that. But these people in the comments will make an argument like that, saying, oh, it's all women's fault. Like, you are actually delusional. That's not at all true. It's equally untrue to say it's all men's fault. It's ridiculous to say it's all anybody's fault because it's a progressive, interdependent societal problem, right? And it's made up of men and women, so it's men... Come on. Again, if you have done any research at all, okay. you know the powers that be have been working to steadily destroy pretty much men and women and the family union. You mean that women divorce men at an 80% rate? <laughs> and 90% if they're college educated? That one? Or, or may, maybe I'm missing the point. For hundreds of years. So again, like, it's crazy to me how ridiculous people want to come in the comments and then they try tooth and nail to defend their argument, and it's like your it argument. It sounds like what you're doing now. <laughs> it has no basis, with the exception of your own hurt. And then they're so upset that I told them that they were hurt. Like I. Well, that's the sense. easiest way. That's the easiest way to get out of uh, any accountability is somebody. Somebody tries to hold you accountable, and you're like, "Who hurt you? Who was it that hurt you? Who was it?" <laughs> That's the easiest way to get out of it right there, bro. For you as a woman. Yeah. There is a serious shortage of attractive, eligible, mentally stable, emotionally available men. For the girlies who are posting their men on this big back, big back, big back, big back TikTok app. Where are y'all finding them? Because I've been on the app at the gym since like 2018. And like pretty much consistently on them, I think for the past like several know, months. You want to know why I give, and, and this is this is men and women both. You want to know why I give big people, like fat people, such a hard time, is because I believe that your body is how you feel about yourself. How you treat your body is how you really feel about yourself. If you are a slob, you don't take care of yourself. You don't watch what you eat. You overeat. You don't exercise. To me, that is a bad thing. You need to be fit. A fit body is a fit mind. This way, when people look at you and they see that you're a big back, I automatically just don't respect you because it looks like you don't even respect yourself. Why would I? You have no self-control. 
You overeat and you don't exercise. That is a bad thing. And so Let me know, Chad, do you agree? And I know we have some, maybe some bigger guys in here. Get your butt up and go to the gym and work out. I wish, dude, like being fat is easy. Being fit is hard. You just have to sit there and eat. It's not hard. I watched an episode of My 600 Pound Life. It was comedy. <laughs> and then off of them. And one, I barely get any matches. Two, if I get a match, someone responds and then they like ghost me. Or they just don't respond. Um, so where are y'all meeting these people? Please sign off in the comments. They're, they're meeting them there. You're just not cute enough to even procure one of these guys. Shots fired! Shots fired! Once again, this is like a pure testament of women change their environment to fit their mindset. Where are you guys going to meet these men? Change your mindset to fit your environment. Right? Guys, we understand that. Women don't. Comments because your girl needs to know I am so tired of being out in these streets. She's a runner. She's a track star. We know what that means. Where is my man? Where do y'all be finding y'all boyfriends at? Where do y'all be finding the fine single men? That's not my problem. Black, 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 black. Where? Let me know. I'm going to pull up. I'm on the way. She seems very masculine. Call me. If you haven't met your person yet, it's not because there's something wrong with you. It's not because you're unlovable. It's probably because you're living in 2024. And just to paint a picture for you, it is reported that by 2030, 45% of women between 22 and 45 will be single and childless, many of whom not by choice. And roughly 60 <laughs> Many of whom not by choice? It's, it's by choice! Shots fired! Shots fired! What are you talking about? <laughs> percent of men right now are single and you would think that with all the technology and the dating apps and social media platforms that keep us connected that it would be easier to find love but in fact pew research reports they did a study that dating is more difficult now than it was 10 years ago that was the consensus so my point is it's not necessarily that something is wrong with you it's that the current dating culture Dude, that is the that is the absolute worst advice if you can't find somebody and you want to be in a relationship it's your fault Shots fired! Shots fired! That's why I say everything that's happening in your life is your fault. Want to know why? Because it's your life! It's not somebody else's life. It's just like your feelings. Those are your feelings. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Loki, do you know what I'm talking about? It's the lack of accountability. It's not that it's not that it's your fault. It's just that it's 2024. No, it's your fault. You're undateable. You're not fit to be in a relationship. Either you're a big bag or you're combative, you're argumentative, you're masculine. It's something to do with you that's that's withholding you from being in a productive and loving relationship. Life is a mirror, not a window. Remember that, gents. Goodness gracious. Today's video almost made my blood boil. This one was crazy. <laughs> well, if you do want to get into a relationship, which I believe that um, a meaningful life is filled with meaningful relationships. You should cop the, the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. It makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. It's in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you enjoy today's episode? Of course you did. You're a good boy. Um, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.